the serpentine dragon Iluyanka. In Hittite mythology, Iluyanka was slain by Tahuns, the chief weather god of the Luwians, a people of Bronze and Iron Age Anatolia. The god Tahuns is the Hittite incarnation of the Hurrian god of the sky and storm. The tablets were discovered at Korum Bogazkoi, the Hittite capital of Hattusa. This contest is a ritual of the Hattian Spring Festival of Puruli. Iluyanka is probably a compound consisting of two words for snake. The same compound members, inverted, appear in Latin, anguilla, meaning eel. The anhilu word is cognate with English eel, the anka, the anka word to the Sanskrit ahi. In the previous documentary, we understood the meaning of Baba. Of course, this triggered curiosity over the name Baba Yaga. Yaga is cognate with the Sanskrit Ahi, snake. The separate components are the lower and upper parts. Originally, they were individual characters. The Latin Anguilla Star, Voice, Wind, Curse The cursed wind is the breath of God. The myth has two versions. In the first version, the storm god and Ilyanka fight, and the serpent wins. The storm god then goes to the Hattian goddess, Inaras, for advice, having promised to sleep with a mortal named Hupasias in return for his help. She devises a trap for the dragon with large quantities of food and drink, and entices him to drink his fill. Once drunk, the dragon is bound by Hupaseus with a rope. Then the storm god appears with the other gods and kills the dragon. In the second version, after the two gods fight and the storm god loses, Iluyanka takes the Storm God's eyes and heart. To avenge himself upon the dragon, the Storm God marries the daughter of a poor man. They have a son, and marries the daughter of the dragon Iluyanka. The Storm God tells his son to ask for the return of the Storm God's eyes and heart as a wedding gift. His eyes and heart are restored. The Storm God goes to face the dragon Iluyanka once more. At the point of vanquishing the dragon, the Storm God's son finds out about the battle and realizes he has been used for this purpose. He demanded his father take his life, along with Iluyanka. And so Teshub kills them both. The Hittite texts were introduced in 1930 by W. Pozig, who made the first comparison of Teshub's battle with Iluyanka with the sky god Zeus's battle with the serpent-like Typhon. 
told in Pseudo Apollodorus. The Hittite Greek parallels found few adherents at the time. The Hittite myth of the castration of the God of Heaven by Kumarbi, with its clear parallels to Greek myth, not yet having been deciphered or edited. The ancient Greek meaning of sinning is to miss the point. The dragon is the transcendent god, and if the dragon is contained in ritual and invoking text, I am forced to leave you with a question. Who is being invoked through the ages?